Yeah, we appreciate you taking our calls. We actually <laughs> yeah. get an A in the class if we get on. You're going to yeah. get an A in the class just for calling into this show? Yeah. I, I, I already have problems with your school. Yeah, wait. I, I mean, also, what school has an apologetics class? I mean, I'm all for critical uh, thinking, but... Christian like, school. Yeah. The, oh, okay. Yeah. Is this a Christian high school? Yeah. I thought I went to a Christian high school. I didn't learn any apologetics. Bullshit. All right, so what do you got for us? Well, we, uh, in our apologetics class, the main point oh. is just kind of... Not debating atheists, but just, you know, the causality of how to not prove God's existence, but argue it, you know? Yeah. So really what, I mean, I'm sure you hear this from almost every caller, but we just want to talk to you about, like, objective truth and see what, you know, your ideas on moral absolutes are. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Those are two different topics. Yeah, I was going to say. I was about to ask you to clarify the first one. But. Yeah, we, we would need clarify, clarification on what you mean by objective truth, but morality is a separate issue. And, okay, well, and I don't yeah, add, I and you also it. said, and you also said moral absolutes, and I don't advocate for moral absolutes. I advocate for objective morality that is situational. Well, well that's what we're saying. You know, okay. we're taught that morals come from God and they're God breathed, and we just want to know what you're how your explanation for the fact, you know, as a, as a people race, there's only, you know, 0.0001% of people that think murder is okay, and those people are, you know, serial killers or Well, so maybe, forth. but the, here's the issue. Let's assume for a second, without getting off into all the complicated philosophical debates, let's assume that morality is, in fact, what God says. How do I know what right. God says? Well, you, the idea is that you're created by God, so those morals are implanted in you through God and How through can the Holy Spirit. I, so first of all, we know that, I mean, you can pick an extreme example like murder, but you can pick other things where we disagree on what the moral condition is or what yeah. the moral resolution is. So there are lots of people who hold lots of different views. And it, it, if we want to figure out, like Jamie thinks this is right and I think it's wrong. Yeah, yeah now, murder. either one of us can claim that this is what God has impressed upon my heart, and now we have no way of solving it. So what religions offer as moral systems um, aren't actually systems, they're edicts. And we know that what religions have thought of as moral and immoral throughout history has changed. And for example, with, with Judaism and Christianity that would point to the Torah and the Christian Bible as, as the foundation that we can all look at, um, there's loads of problems there, including, you know, hey, slavery's okay, or um, it's okay to run around slaughtering people, or even God commanded the slaughter of these people. There's no way to prove or demonstrate to anybody else what God actually thinks. The most you could get to is, here's what I think God thinks, and then you'd have to acknowledge that you're a fallible being who might be mistaken about what God thinks, because you definitely think the other person is mistaken about what God thinks. This is why secular moral systems are vastly superior, superior because they come up with a system that allows you to remove as much bias as possible and to consider the consequences of actions with respect to discrete goals that aren't subject to opinion. So if the goal is, hey, we want to create a society that is generally healthier, this step either objectively leads to a healthier society or it doesn't. And there's no opinion involved in it. But I would say this, and we're trying to get on to this a couple of times. I do appreciate you guys engaging in talking about this. Uh, I think it's a little sketchy that you're likely to get an A for this conversation, but I will give you an A for your portion of it uh, with, with us, uh, because a lot of people... You can't point to the Bible and then say, hey, Jesus came along. Yeah, that Old Testament God was a perverted asshole who was okay with slavery, but Jesus, who is the same God, came along and fixed it. Because do you know what Jesus said about slavery? Actually, there is one. No. Oh, oh that's... The right. only thing he said was slaves obey your masters, even the cruel ones, which is fundamentally immoral because the only thing that you should say to a slave is to escape and take everyone with you that you can. Right. You kind of got us in a corner that we aren't yeah. getting out of. Yeah. That's my job. But I will say yeah. this, and we're going to try to get on to, to some other callers mm -hmm. before we run out of time. I do appreciate you guys engaging and talking about this. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a little sketchy that you're likely to get an A for this conversation. But I will give you an A for your portion of it uh, with, with us mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of other people aren't willing to engage at all. 
Yeah, yeah we appreciate your time as well. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks, cool. guys. Thank you. Feel free to call uh, Talk Heathen as well. Yeah. I think we could keep having this one. They might not beat you up as much as, as I'm likely to, but you know. Yeah. Anyway, thanks guys. I'm nicer on that show. Good luck with the grades. Yeah.